the Coppola show down on Coppola's number one hit music station and uh, of course uh, we're just from listening to Mother Tongue coming through from Slav D right there and just like I mentioned uh, we'll be having him live right here in studio not in studio on phone good afternoon Slav D what's up what's up my brother yeah I'm good man how are you I'm good I'm good I'm, I'm alive <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like you're in a very cool place um, I heard Dallas K is very, very warm this afternoon. It's windy. It's uh, kind of warm and windy. Okay. Awesome yeah. stuff. Of course, uh, what has brought us uh, here is uh, the Afrima Awards. And of course, uh, you've been yeah. nominated for a third straight time. Okay. So maybe just want to get your reactions. Sorry? The fourth time. But the oh, the time fourth in time in a row. So just maybe like your reaction from that. Um, I'm really grateful for the nomination. I appreciate it. I mean, uh, it means I'm doing something right. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for the nomination. All in all. Okay. So, um, you know, does that mean that you've been very consistent, uh, very consistent for some time now? Because, you know, for you to be nominated consistently like that, then it means that you're doing a lot of things right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I could say it. You know, and, uh, yeah, I could it. Okay. Could this be the fourth time lucky? And uh, what's your call to the fans out there for? What What should they do? Um, what do you mean, what should they do? <laughs> no, I mean, I like... you want to ask you something, but you're not asking... No, not it, really that I want to ask you something. You? I just... It's a nomination? Of course it's voting. No, okay. You know, I, is there something you want to ask me that you're not comfortable? I'm really, you know, I took this because I'm comfortable. So no, ask me whatever you want. No, no, not really. I just, okay, okay. Um, maybe, maybe it's not that I'm, I'm running away from it. I'm, I'm just getting to it. I just wanted you to at least, you know, say something and, uh, you know, maybe just a quote to your fans. But, um, of course, we've, we've, uh, recently seen like uh, the reaction from fans on social media and uh, the way that they're they are coming out with these uh, with these votes okay they're they're like more like yeah. they are reacting to certain something that uh, you did earlier on this year so maybe your reaction to that you know you know just what's your reaction to that yeah i did a song for a political party mm -hmm. um um yeah you know get a seat get a seat portion uh, and so some people are taking it uh, the wrong way. But my question is, like, so the political party that I worked for lost. Okay. Why are you angry? Are you angry at me? Are you angry at my decision? Or are you just angry at your fellow Zambian? What is it? You know, so it, it, you can't, it's a democratic process. You vote for who you want to vote for. So whoever wants to vote for anyone, that's fine. And uh, I can't change that. Uh, but what I do ask is for my fans to vote for me. Okay. You know what I mean, so um, I mean, I lost before. I lost before I did the song, the political song. Uh, I lost three times. Four times actually. I mean, three times before I did the political song. This is the mm -hmm. fourth nomination. Um, so you can't tell me I, if I do lose, you can't say it's because of my decision. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, there's not much. There's not much. There's not much I can really, I can really say about that. Mm -hmm. But to encourage my fans to keep supporting and vote for greater. Okay, but uh, maybe just lastly, is there anything maybe that you can learn from what happened earlier on in the year? Or maybe by you know, the way that people are, or maybe what you can do differently next time? Of course, it teaches me a lesson. You can't run away from the fact that politics and music don't go hand in hand. Clearly, if you want to do music for this. Mm -hmm. um, and I think this is a fraction of people trying to teach me a lesson. Uh, but also... I need to man up and face my con these are the consequences of, 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 of certain decisions that we make. If I made a bad choice, a bad decision, I have to pay the consequences, pay the price. Okay. Yeah. All right.
right, awesome stuff. Uh, maybe uh, now away from uh, those Afrima Awards and uh, just going uh, for people to, to, to do the voting. But um, there's an issue of uh, piracy as well. I mean, this is something I've had the discussions with, uh, you know, with, with uh, various artists, but I'd also like to get it from you. You know, how can we work together as artists and also just institutions uh, concerned to, to stop piracy in, in music here in Zambia? Um, piracy. Piracy has been a, a, a been made no more in Zambia. You know, people just bootleg music, and we say no. You know, when you sell to a point where when you sell a song for ten points, they don't see. Oh, he's been selling your song. Mm-hmm. It's, it's been made that normal. It's not people buy music, they stream music outside. You know, they support. That's how you support. And um, what that does is it empowers the artist who then empowers many other people. Might not be as many as uh, Trade Kings, as Zambia, as a company, an organization. But trust me, the families are fed of one purchase of a song. Um, but also, that's something that we... I think as a country we don't we haven't understood this. You know, music is still seen as uh, oh no, it's just a hobby. Oh no, he makes music just nice. You know, it's, it's a career, it's a full time job. Mm-hmm. I basically, basically live my life off this. My whole adult life. I pay my school fees, my bills off my music. And I pay other people's bills off my music. Uh, I mean, two, three people, many people offer. So, once we understand that as Zambians, it's going to be helpful as well. Okay. Um, so, maybe, how about the institutions concerned? Like, uh, let's say, Zam Corps, and uh, we're talking about the likes of uh, Zambia Association of Musicians and also the Ministry of Arts. You know, just how can they help to come together and, you know, just fight this virus? Because... Um, as artists, you, you you can do your part, but if these institutions don't do their part, yeah, um, that's a song that's been sung many times. Mm-hmm. That's a song that's been sung many many times, and you know sometimes people wonder why someone would go and do a job for a political party. That's what leads to that. Okay, you, you don't make enough to you know fund your business well. Uh, but you're expected to deliver international standards. You know, oh no, there's always an example of, hey, why can't you be as big as Javitin? Why can't you be as big as Wizkid? Wizkid is well funded. You know, he's, he's properly funded. He's got a huge team that's paid well. You know, um, and that's all because of his music. He's been heavily, you know, poured in these record labels. So to answer that, I think the best way is to bring in record labels in Zambia. And I say real record labels. All Not right. With respect to the record labels that are in existence right now. In existence right now. Mm-hmm. But like if they brought proper record labels into the country, um, it would really, really help. Because then they would make sure uh, they protect their music. Because once you make music for a record label, it's yours and theirs. Uh, so they would make sure they protect their music. That's uh, a power statement, Slab D. You know, for them not to make yeah. that's, that's a power statement, Slab D. And a very, very good, uh, you know, um, comment that you've made. And surely, if that will be put into consideration, I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, this piracy will be reduced or even approached to, uh, to, to, yeah. to zero. Sorry? At, uh, I didn't hear that. I'm, I'm saying it, it's a very good statement that you've made and also a very good suggestion that you've made. So I'm pretty sure if that was done, um, then piracy would be brought to zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think so too. You know, and also just policies that support the art. It's not just me. You see, when we, when we talk about art, it's DJ, you, for instance. Mm-hmm. But you must be able to even, you know, have your own music. Uh, have your own shows and make money off people streaming your show because mm-hmm. they love it. You know, it's, 
not always that you have to be that you work for a company to make you could actually have hold your own shit the idea is to make you big thing the experience mm-hmm. go out there with such own station you know what i mean because you love it and you're good at it um, but i guess this is a very common thing in Uganda is uh, you hit a certain ceiling where people don't want to see you big it's like no you can't be bigger than that you're going to be big headed i don't know who tells them that mm-hmm. or what makes them feel that way there's like i oh, know we need to keep him to our level you know what i mean yeah. not even a club mentality. I say the Zanya mentality is like, nah, he just needs to be at our level, or he can't be bigger than us. So you get a lot of support. You get a lot of support um, as you come up, and at some point, as you start to get bigger, you say, like, nah, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't be bigger than me. Sorry about that noise, I'm not, I'm not an event company. No, okay. Yeah, so basically, his policies are made that support art. You know, he follows the painters, the, the writers, you know, the actors. Everyone, everyone has mm. good faith. Yeah, mm. well, sure. that can only be done if, you know, people are taught that it's not free. No, if I make a song and you download it for free, you're stealing from me. Yes, I want you to hear the song, but I also want you to pay for it. Yeah. Basically, that's how it works. If you get a book of mine and photocopy, you're stealing from it. If you record your tape, I don't know what it is now, but you tape it, you move it and duplicate it, you're stealing from it. Sure, Diesel. Okay, um, thank you thank, thank you for coming through and also having you on this show and uh, even uh, bringing up the suggestions that you're bringing up and also just clearing out, you know, this, uh, you know, talk that has uh, been going around on social media. Of course, uh, that has been King Diesel on Coppola's number one hit music station, the it's 9.7 FM. You heard it from him and uh, pretty sure you've, you've, you've learned a thing or two from there. And also, once you want it to be clear, has been cleared. Of course, we'll be right back on Coppola's number one hit music station, Yar 89.7 FM. My name is uh, DJ Frazy, and we'll be right back. Remember to do the nominations for Slab D at the Afrima Awards. No, 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 number one for all your number hits. Number one for all your hits. The Coppola Showdown.